watch out, Ann. environment and then we take them out of the element which is at my training clinic and then do the other part there to okay. see how they are when the environment change are the same same way and is the trainability change by the food test the food okay. test tells me everything I've been filming this for the process for 12 years so we're gonna go ahead this is the next portion we still have the safety fence there and then I'm gonna give the owner and the dog instructions um, we need another platform in there. It's, uh, the purpose of the second phase is how the team will team up. Uh, I being the coach and then being able to analyze how the owner learns and analyze how the dog learns and then best match the techniques that will help progress the dog. Okay. Make. Well, we want to give her a variety of choices. It's called uh, the buffet. Which part or what type of treats will motivate her? When she's at her highest level, of uh, drive of fear, I had to use like table scraps and that got her food drive stimulated. So, oh, that's what you brought in on the spoon, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At first, she didn't take the uh, now, commonly, uh, I'll use uh, natural balance over the years. Yes, that natural balance yeah. works perfect because uh -huh. you know you're going to take just ordinary natural balance dog food or treats, right? Because right. you're going to take the dry kibble away in there for a while and they. I have different activities the owners do twice a day because the dog eats twice a day. Okay. And it's learning condition reflexing is all. It's, it's okay. a little bit of a reward for her. Get the dog either through kinetically feeling them to help them on the table with the leash. But your objective is you and her are going to team up and have her get on the platform. And when she gets on the platform, the treat appears. Sometimes it starts with one paw treat, two paws treat. For, you know, okay. just okay. get her thinking because dogs learn by we're going to present her a problem okay. and you're going to help her work through it. So, what I don't want you to do is take the treat and say, Here. Oh, okay. You're going to physically oh, with the leash. <laughs> okay. Because well, no, okay. we're not going to do lure training. You don't okay. need me if we're going to do lure. Okay. We're going to Remember, modify. I'm, I don't know anything. No, that's okay. I'm not okay. being critical. Okay. We're just going to skip the lure training and you're going to manipulate her either through body language to get on the table. And one paw, if she puts one paw, you guess. I want to see if she takes the food. Stay down. I just didn't want to have a busy. Give her the treat. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Uh, you, you go over there to that white dog house. You want to go and move the platform, each platform closer to the fence. Um, on the uh, choke chain, because it has constant pressure, I'm going to switch collars. I'm going to use the uh, prong collar with rubber tips on it. Because okay. it's on um, uh, fear dogs, it's like a mom giving them gentle guidance rather than this constant right, right. pressure. Yeah. Okay. I want to introduce a dog to a lot of strangers. I actually take a bag of food to work with me uh -huh. and let everybody get their hand in there and put sand on them. And then I work with the dog in the night. Okay. It's called neutral relation to the muzzle. And they learn how to wear it and then work in it and all that. Okay. It's similar to what we do with police dogs. Okay. We have to learn that they're not uh, just apprehend the guy just because he has this nice little fun <laughs> Um The objective now is will she go to the platform? Did you want me to change your collar? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. The thing that this does is I developed a quick release myself, okay? It clips here, and the leash always goes on the funny part here, and it, and it forms a triangle. Okay. 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 So okay. then it's never putting pressure on the trachea. Okay. Okay. So 
And I put rubber tips on dogs that are um, mild temper. First time. And, oh, so, so you can see her temperament's not bad. Well, I would say it's not bad, but she's inadequate, inadequately socialized. Okay. So, I, okay. so the objective would be, are we going to take her through that process to re-socialize her? Okay. And so I want to see is after she does this, will she take the treat from me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that 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 you pull her out of that other. I gotta pull thing. her out of that, yeah. and yeah. and if I you view my video, yeah. you'll be able to see yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Trixie, Trixie Kelly's like she's got kennels boarding on. dash uh, training dot com. Do you have a business card or something I could? I got it. You just hold that up in front of the camera. You're gorgeous. Let me get. You're so beautiful. If you need it, I got a couple yeah. of them. Okay, can I keep this sure. one? Sure. All right, thanks. Nice. So then the owner and I would team up from here and we would go through a socialization process. The dog would be start at the training clinic right there in that mood. And uh, I give them a, a training video so that they know we're doing phase one, phase two. And then at, uh, they're generally a minimum with me three weeks. I provide, we have uh, socialization classes right there in Lawrence. Uh, one Saturday a month that they've already signed up for for that year, okay. and uh, they're coached uh, personally how socialization process applies to their dog. And it's a dog like this that's had uh, maybe not the opportunities of puppy to be imprinted previously has to have a maintenance training program just like as if it was a police dog. These dogs go out and they do their scenarios and have control, and so I have set up a system for the owners to do the same thing. So that's